In this video, we're going to talk about backing up your WordPress site. Regular backups may seem like a tedious chore, but I promise you, the day your site goes down and it seems to be gone forever, you'll be happy that you do backups. Let's take a look at some options here. We're looking here at BackWPUp on WordPress.org. This is a free plugin, though there is a paid add-on for it, and it does some pretty important things. And rather than read you this list, let's install it, and I'll show them to you. Here it is. We install and activate. As soon as you install, you see this splash screen, which tells you about some of the things that it can do. But let's dive right into making a backup job. This link shows you the jobs that exist, and there aren't any right now. A job means a scheduled backup. So let's add new, and we'll give it a name. We'll call it Nightly Backup. And this job is a database backup, file backup, WordPress XML export, installed plugins list, and a check of the database tables. We'll leave it at the default here. So this is going to back up the database, the files, and the installed plugin list. And the file that it makes is going to be named like this. Now you can change this to be anything you want, but the dates can be really useful. Also, note that it's a zip file. That's because the next option here is how to compress the file. You really want your backup compressed into one single file using the most efficient compression algorithm you can find, because then you'll get smaller files and you can hold more backups in your hard drive. And then we can choose where to send the zip file. You can back up to a folder right on your server, or it can be sent by email or FTP or to Dropbox, to Amazon S3, to Microsoft Azure, to Rackspace Cloud Files, or to SugarSync. And the paid version has even more. Where you keep your backup files is really important. Keeping them on the same machine as your site is a terrible idea. Because if the warehouse catches on fire and the server burns down, you will not have your backups anymore. Or if there's an earthquake, or if you have a hacker break in who deletes everything, you'll be out of luck. So you really want to choose one of these off sites. Then it can send an email with a log file telling you what it did. So let's save these changes. And then for the same job, click Schedule. And right now it's manual only, so it'll only do backups when I push the button. This is fine as long as you remember to do it. Ideally, though, you'll have a computer do it for you. So you could choose WordPress Cron, which allows you to pick a date and time. You could use Easy Cron if you have an account there. Or you can set up just a link so that if you go here, it starts a backup. And you could use this link on some other server to make automated backups. When you click on the DB Backup tab, you get to choose which tables you want to back up. By default, it backs up everything in your database. Now, if you have other things in your database besides WordPress, then you may not want to grab them all. This allows you to get just what you want. And if you're backing up only your database, it'll make a file with a name like this, and you can choose to compress it or not. I recommend compressing it. It can make it a lot smaller. And when we look at files, we can choose what parts of WordPress we want to back up. Right now, we're backing up everything. We could choose to exclude WP Admin and WP Includes. And I actually recommend that, because for the most part, you should never ever touch those. And if you need a new copy, you can just download it from WordPress.org. Here we can optionally exclude plugin folders as well. And you may want to do this for the same reason. If they get lost or corrupted, you simply download a new version. It's not like it's custom content that you created and there's only one of a kind. And, again, the same holds true for themes. You can also optionally choose to back up folders that are not part of WordPress. And you could exclude or include special files as well. Having a list of your plugins can be really handy. This doesn't actually back up your plugins. It simply makes a list for you 
so that if everything melts down and you don't remember everything you had, you simply look at the list and go reinstall all your plugins. If you choose to make your backups on the same server, which I don't recommend, here's where you can say where they will be stored. This allows you to set a number of files to keep so that you don't just keep building up files forever and blow out your hard drive space. So now we have a job for nightly backups saved, and I can choose Run Now. There, my backup is done. Now this is a very small site, so the backup went quite quickly. It can take 5, 10, or 15 minutes sometimes to do a backup for a larger site. But here you can see the job, when it was last run, and then over on the left, if you click Backups, you can see the backups here, and you can choose to download or delete. Now, while it's very important to have backups, you don't necessarily have to do them yourself or use a plugin. A better solution is to use whatever backups your host provides. Many hosts provide automatic backups as a service. We're looking here at GoDaddy, and right here is the Backups tab in my admin area. And I can choose anything from the last 30 days. I'm going to choose Files and Database. And then I can choose the files from November 31st and the database from November 31st and simply click Restore. I'm not going to restore because I don't want to actually do that right now. But I didn't have to do anything at all to have these backups happen. It's just part of the service. And when I click Restore, it overwrites my site with that restore point. I don't have to move files. I don't have to unpack things. I don't have to worry about anything. It just happens. If your host provides backups, I recommend using those almost in every single case. It's going to be more efficient, it's going to be more painless, and it's just a better idea all around. So let's recap. When we're looking at features for a backup plugin, we want a plugin that can do off-site backups. Most do, but not all of them. We want a plugin that can give us compressed files. The smaller your backup, the more backups you can have at once. We need to be able to do scheduled backups. It's all fine and good to try to remember to do it, but the time will come when you don't remember. And that's what we have computers for, to do our work for us. And lastly, the best solution is to use the backups provided by your host. They will by far be the most efficient process, requiring the least work from you while still getting the job done right.